Okay, so in part one of the video, I showed you how to make the multi-layer flower for this card. So in this video, I'm going to show you the process I went through in determining how this card came about. So basically, I took a piece of A4 white card and cut it in half through the long side, and that gave me two cards. Now you can either use it this way as a tent fold, or I like to use it this way as an alternative style card. This card came about because I had this piece of scrap paper, which when I measured it was just under an inch and a half wide, and it was about 12 inches long. So that determined the, the piece of paper I was using here. For the card I'm going to make now, I'm going to use it in a different, make it in a different colorway. And I've just cut a piece of scrap double-sided paper for this one. This one was slightly wider. I've cut it down to an inch and a half and that's going to sit on the front of the card. But really this video is more about the process of how I go about cutting this design once I'd made it in canvas. So this was all um, various blue shades, four shades of blue. This one, I've, as, as you can see, I'm going to do in pink taken four pieces of pink card which I think hopefully will layer up together to give me the, the same kind of effect that I've got on this one. I've put them all on the mat together. I've put a piece of white card on as well which is going to be the white layer with the dashed stitched edge and then I've got my USB stick already in the machine. I'm going to go into patterns, save data, into my USB stick, find the folder with this design in, which is called Flowers, I believe. Flowers and Flourishes, there you go. And then I just need to look for this cutting file. And it's this one, the Seru's Flower Ding. So I've got two different sizes of flower in here, which were used um, by cutting two different letters, but in the video I use the W. So the W, Sarah's flower ding, at the top row. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this set of four flowers here because they were cut with a different letter. I think they were a V or a W. I can't remember which, but it's the top one I want. So I'm going to say OK, first of all, to get it on my mat. Then I'm going to come into the top left editing icon. I'm going to select this box here and then I'm going to select this first box which allows me to drag the handles around the designs I don't want and then it's also selected that top one which I do so I've just touch it to unselect it so I've just got those four selected and I don't want those so I'm going to say okay and send them to the trash and that just gets rid of them for now it doesn't delete the design forever. Next time I come and load this USB stick and call this file up, they will still be there. It just deletes it off this mat. So for now, I'm going to say OK and I'm going to do a background scan. Okay, so it's scanned all the pieces of card. So the first thing I want to do is move my dashed circle onto the white. The smallest flower I want to cut on this piece of pale pink card. And then the next ones I'm just going to hopefully try and cut from the respective three scraps of card. I don't know that you can actually see them on the screen. I'll see if I can zoom in at this point on the screen for you. But what I'm also going to do now, I'm going to say OK. Sorry, I'm going to go into the edit icon and zoom in and zoom to 400 just to see if it looks as though these all fit on the pieces of card. This is the one that I'm the most worried about because this piece of card down here, I don't know if you can see it, is quite narrow and I want this to be my top layer flower so I'm just going to have to make sure I get that in the right position 
so hopefully it cuts out of its width so I'm going to say okay they all look okay now and I'm going to cut them and I'm just going to cut them all at once they are slightly different thicknesses of card so before I unload the mat I'm going to check that they have all cut through because I think this piece of card is the thickest but it doesn't necessarily always go off how thick your card is it can be the density and that kind of thing so I'm going to cut them and then as I say before I unload the mat I'm just going to check that they've all cut Okay, so that's finished cutting now so I'm just going to lift up the card without moving the mat and just see if these have cut through so that one appears to be okay I'm just going to hold on to the center of the flower and lift up and that one appears to be okay and I'm just going to do the same for each one until I know that they all appear this is the thickest one so this is the one that I'm the most worried about thinking it may may or may not cut in this one pass set on with my blade set as it is but that appears to be okay as well so yeah they all look okay so I'm going to unload the mat and then just peel all the waste away Show you them all in close up in a minute. This is another tip. If this one was is stuck quite heavily, um, I've got a cut in my mat there. Rather than trying to dig under it, bend your mat, and then you kind of get some air in, and then you can scoot your design off. right so one thing i have forgot to do is cut my matting layer for this out of this so i'm going to have to put this piece of card back in and cut myself a circle and just check how big i need it see how big that one is so that's two and a half so I'm going to go back to the home button because I don't need any of that I'm going to go to the basic shapes and choose a circle and make it Scanning. Here are the four flowers now that we'll layer up. Together to make this card. I'm 
Okay, and that's the matte layer for the circle. So I'm just going to assemble the card quickly and I'll speed this bit up and I'll show you it at the end. I don't know if you can see that I've applied a bit of Wink of Stella just on the top layer which I also did on the blue one but I don't know whether it will show up on the camera or not and then I'm just going to stamp my birthday greeting and this time I'm going to stamp it in the top right hand corner oops So that's it, two cards, both made from a simple font ding. So I hope you like that and I hope, to, I hope it was helpful. And please don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you did like it and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.